Hey guys, and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So today in this tutorial, we are in Photoshop CC, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a photo look old, or how to make it look old timey. Uh, so in order to do that, you're going to need to follow these few steps, uh, and you can have like this picture here, which I got from Adobe Stock Images, which is a great place for stock images. I'll link to them down below, and have them look like this. So you can go from looking like this, like a new colorful, great new age photo to an old timey grainy photo just like you see here. So let's go ahead and we're going to close out of that image there and we're going to open that image up. So we're going to go to file open and then we're going to open that image. So here we have the new image without anything done to it as of yet. So the first thing that we are going to want to do is go down here and add a new adjustment layer. So if we go down to the bottom of our Photoshop toolbars there, we'll be able to see the down arrow and select where you see hue slash saturation. Once we have that open, you're going to see the properties box come available to you. Go ahead and check the colorize option here and then go up to where you see hue, the slider here, and you're going to want to change that to around 37. Anywhere from 35 to 40 will be fine. I like 37. You can play with the numbers in this tutorial to get the desired effect that you want. So go ahead uh, once you're done with that and go ahead and close the properties box there. The next thing we want to do is we want to merge the layers here above. So what you're going to want to do is select the hue saturation layer that you have there, adjustment layer. In order to do that, you're going to go shift command alt E. Okay. If you're on a windows it's shift control alt E is the hot key or quick key to get to that. And then once you have done that, you're going to want to go on up to where you see filter. So go to filter and then go down to where you see blur and then go to Gaussian blur, which is right here. Once you see that, you'll see the properties a box come up for that blur there and change the radius from whatever it is to six. So you're going to want to change it from whatever it is to six pixels and then click. Okay. Now, once we have done that, we're going to want to change the layer style to overlay in the opacity down to 67. So go ahead with that layer selected and change that over to overlay. So it'll be right here. And then we're going to want to change the opacity down to about 67. So anywhere between 65 and 70 will be fine. So we'll leave it at 67. You can either drag the scroll bar there, or you can type in 65 or 67 there. Now, once we have done that, we're going to want to create a new layer and fill it with black. So in order to do that, click on the new layer button down here. It looks like a page turning up. And then in order to select the fill of that layer, just just select shift and the F5 key and that will bring up the fill options there and make sure you go down to where you see black. It'll probably be set to foreground color. You want to change that over to where you see black down there at the bottom. Uh, once you have done that, you want to go ahead and click OK. Now, once we do this and we have our new black layer up available to us, we want to go to filter and then go down to where you see noise. Under noise, go to add noise, just like that there. Now, the amount of noise that we want to add is about 128. Again, you can play with that depending on what you want to do. And then change the distribution to Gaussian right there and then select monochromatic, which is right there, okay? And then select okay. Now that we have this layer selected, it looks kind of weird. Don't worry, it's going to change shortly. Once we have done that, we're going to want to change this layer style to soft light. Okay. It's right there under overlay. Change that to soft light. And then once we have changed that over to soft light, you want to change the opacity of this layer to around 15%. So go ahead and change that to around 15%. So if we had that layer selected, the opacity should be 15%. And as you can see, the photo is already looking much, much older. And the next thing we want to do is go and add another adjustment layer and then go up here and select levels. So once you've selected levels, you're going to see a few different things. You're going to want to change the output levels to 28 and 230. So whatever they're set on, change those to 28 and 230. If you need to pause the video, you can do that at any time. Uh, and then once we're done with that, go ahead and close the properties of that. Now you want to select the hue and saturation layer. This is the last step that we created, which was the first step of the video and change the opacity to 90%. So from hundred to 90% and you are good to go. 
And as you can see here, the photo has that old timey look that we were going for in the beginning. So anyways guys, I hope this video helped you. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, put those in the comment section down below. Uh, don't forget to like this video, share it as well, subscribe to the channel for more great content just like this. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching my videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.